There are thousands of South Sudanese who have settled in the greater Portland area. Project Bazia is a nonprofit organization that educates people living here from South Sudan, especially children. Leslie McVeigh talked with its founder, Bazia, about the organization. Well, Bazia, uh, Project Bazia is uh, a new relatively new nonprofit organization okay. and recently joined Community Television Network. Now this is a brainchild of you. That's right. Uh, tell me how it came about. Uh, maybe first of all tell us where you come from and a little bit about your background and how you got here. Uh, first of all, my background, I'm from South Sudan and um, according to my parents we grow in in different situation in South Sudan, according uh, South Sudan, be fast for a long time. That's a long story, but let me make it too short. Mm -hmm. And my dad was a military, and he came to United States in 1983, where Reagan was the president. And we almost in my own tribe, uh, we almost care about our other brother and sister. And that's one of the things I'm. I'm just connected to what my parents or my grandpa does. I almost wherever I go. Uh, I'll be attention to other, and the other thing, the very important. I've been around more than 27 countries in the world. It gave me a lot of ideas, yeah. perspective, what, what respected, yeah. and all that. Yeah. yeah. So you came here to Portland, Maine, in what year? Uh, I'm in Portland, maybe one year, but I originally I was in, in Philly. Okay. Yeah, that's my first. Okay when I get to United States. And then came here. Yeah. And there's quite a lar large population of people from South Sudan. Yeah, we, we're talking about between 3,000 or more than that. Right, in Portland? Yes, in Portland. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So this idea came about to start an organization for and about people from South, South Sudan. South Sudan, especially. And it's called Project Bazia. Bazia that's this correct. This is your project. Yeah. Now tell me what you hope to do, what your mission is with this project. Uh, first of all, the very important to unite them in, in the discipline and respect and talking about how we can help them to have education in a better way. And especially since South Sudan became a country. To be a country is not uh, just flag, it's a job. A lot of my idea or my belief the more people they be educated, our education, the more they be able to stand for their own right, for their own country. Right. And this is one of my goal, to have that education done by different way to help. That's and right. I believe it will let them understand life better, even in American society. According to in America, you need to know English. Mm -hmm. When you know English, you will learn a lot of. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm putting the two way to, to be educated in the United States and at the same time to be educated to help your own people. I think that's that's lovely. What is the official language in South Sudan? Uh, we have a lot of language but mm -hmm. generally when Sudan was one country mm -hmm. they almost use Arabic. Arabic. Yeah and then South Sudan have Arabic they call like uh, Juba mm -hmm. Arabic. It's just like I can put example uh, if you heard about Jamaica, Jamaica they don't have language, but what they did, they changed patois. some. Patois. Yeah, patois. <laughs> I lived in Jamaica. Uh, <laughs> so we have the same thing like that. I mean, among we are South Sudanese, we speak Arabic Juba. But I think what you say about education is very important. So your web page, you have a very nice web page for Project Baza. That's Bazia, right. Bazia, which yeah. is, what is your web page? Uh, Project Bazia. Pro right. Yeah, that's And it. so Pete, we'll put that on the bottom of the thing. That's right. And is there a telephone number that people uh, can call? We have call? a telephone number on uh, 207. Mm -hmm. 615-8884. Okay. Well, that's good to have for the um, people who are interested in maybe helping out in some way, um, or if there are some people from South Sudan who don't know about your organization. I think you've hit it. Education is key to everything. It's a key for everything. I mean, yeah. This is the one of my goal uh, to make what's supposed to be done. Because the more you give a chance for people to know the education, the more the life can be open right. better. Now, do you, uh, briefly, we don't have much time, but okay. do you have some projects coming up that the community might be involved in? Uh, we have one project right now is working on it for Disney World 2014 for the mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons we need to unite them. I mean, I'm going to sponsor kids from different states. Mm -hmm. It's like in this month, I'm going to Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at uh, 100 to 200 kids, mm -hmm. but uh, I will. I guess maybe in May I can take 20, mm -hmm. maybe in New Hampshire, maybe in Dallas, okay. 
So I'll look at it something. So that's important. something that you'll keep us informed. Right. And we'll have you back as you get more into more, the project. That's right. Um, but now we've had given everyone a chance to get to know you, you, get to know the organization. That's right. And good luck and thank you very thank much. Thank you again.